Caleb and I didn't get two doors down from the furnace. We just stood there, and we had eight healings. And we just kind of, all we did is do like that. Oh, here's another one. Let's, oh, and there's another, we ne- really, we didn't move. We just turned in circles and just released the love of God over people. So this one guy comes up, whoa, what are you guys doing? And K- Jason's got the camera. He goes, you guys, the news? I said, well, kind of, uh, the good news. And he kind of like, what? I said, yeah, actually, we're out here on these treasure hunts, and we're, we're trying to find some clues. He goes, well, what do you need? I said, well, I got some stuff here. Any of this match up with you? He goes, no. I said, well, what's your name? He goes, Matt. I said, well, Matt, you're a treasure. He goes, what do you mean? I said, is there anything you need prayer for? And he was like, prayer? Right away, he starts this mocking thing. I said, yeah, for real. Is there anything you need? He goes, well, it's funny you say that, actually. He goes, my retainer broke, and one of my teeth is literally almost ready to fall out. I got to go to the, to get my, uh, the retainer put back in place because the tooth is like, he was like wiggling it. I mean, like loose. I said, well, let me just pray for it. Jesus can do this stuff. Jesus? I said, yeah, Jesus can heal your tooth. So we started praying for him. So at first he's going, uh, uh, then he gets down on his knees, uh, and he's doing this whole, oh, yeah, yeah, and it, like, whatever. I said, Jesus, just get him. Something starts happening for real. All of a sudden he's going, what's going on? I said, Jesus is healing you. What you're feeling right now is the presence of the Lord. The Lord? I said, yeah, the Lord. Then he stands back up, I said, and then we ask him, Shad goes, what else is wrong with you? And he goes, well, I got one leg longer than the other. And we're like, well, do you want to get that right too? And he's like, sure. So Caleb had his little scooter, so we had him sit down on the scooter. We lifted his legs up. His, le- his leg was like a half inch longer than the other one. You want to straighten out? And Jason's got the camera on this thing too, and this dude got all stoked because this healing got captured. He wants to post it on his Facebook, actually. So we're praying for him, and the leg grows out completely. I speak a shifting right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at that leg's coming right out right now. Look at that. The leg's coming completely out. Dude, it's shifting right now. Come, Jesus. Throw the leg out. Throw the leg out. Throw the leg out. Throw the leg out. I know it's working, dude. Yeah. For real. Like, your leg just grew out that much. For real. Stand up one. See what's going on. He gets up. He goes... That is amazing. And he starts jumping around. Jesus just healed me. And he's jumping around in front of the camera. And my, I, my leg was longer than the other. And he, Jesus straightened it out. I'm not uneven anymore. So we get talking to the guy. And then he goes, hey, can I get one of those treasure maps? I said, yeah. If you go down on that blue and white building down there, there's all kinds of cool stuff going on in there. And... So he heads on down there. I said, oh, but wait, before you go, are you hungry? And he's like, yeah, sure. I said, well, here's a coupon for a Papa John's pizza if you want to go get one of those first. And so then he did that, and then I know they, he got blessed there, and Jumvante was with us when, he, the, when the guy came up, and he was like, ah, yeah, I remember you. And, and then, uh, but he goes back to the furnace and looking for the treasure map. And they're like, oh, you're the treasure. And he shares his testimony of what just happened to him in the street, and they just led him to Jesus. Mm-hmm.